Coach, we're going to give you a heads up here in a moment, but Coach Stansbury raved about one of your players. He oh, just did to me too, Grayson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't get me wrong, he likes a lot of your, a lot of players well, on your team. Well, but yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, you want me to start? Yeah, start yes, with them? Um, Western Kentucky made it difficult for us tonight. They, they changed uh, their defense around so much that I didn't know what they were in. Certainly our players didn't know what they were in. Um, a lot of credit to our players for just making plays uh, because I, there was just no consistency for me in trying to make sure our guys knew what our offense was because I didn't know if it was going to be a 1-3-1 one, one that turned into a 2-3 or a 1-3-1 that one, stayed a 1-3-1 one, one, or, or a baseline out of bounds that looked like zone but it was man. Um, they did a really nice job of that and I think I think they'll give a lot of teams trouble uh, this year in the preparation part of it. Uh, so they've got, they've got talented kids. Uh, they didn't make shots good enough, three for 15 from three. Um, and, and I think some credit to our guys for uh, for guarding the guys that can make the threes pretty well. Uh, but it's a, it's, it's a good win anytime you beat a program like Western Kentucky for sure. Coach, what do you like most about your team? Coaching them through ten games so far. Oh gosh, it's it's um, it's it's really there's a lot of fun about coaching freshmen, uh, and we've got a, we've got more freshmen on the team. We've got rest of our classes, and we're starting three out of five as freshmen. Um, uh, it, it it can be frustrating at times. They've still got a lot to learn, but the energy and enthusiasm they bring, and uh, I think the talent that these three starting freshmen bring, and some other kids, gives our program. Uh, a good look at the future. At one point in the first half, you guys routed off 15 straight points from three-point range. Really? What was what was working right during that run? Josh, we're going in. Second half, we we, we had a, a, a stretch where I thought we got really good shots and none of them went in, and that's just that's the nature of three-point shooting. Uh, our, our guys do a really good job of of sharing the basketball and making extra passes and finding shooters. And when you can catch the ball, you know, in rhythm. You're going to make 15% more of those kind of shots than having to take them off the dribble or come right off the screen, jump up and catch and shoot. And and uh, so, uh, you know, it's a little infectious too uh, that when when a couple in a row go in, the next guy just feels like his is going to go in. Coach, um, we give you a heads up about what Coach Stansbury said about Murphy. Mm -hmm. You get to coach him every day. Um, I'm just asking you how valid is Coach Stansbury's praise of him? Well, I, I think. You know, we look at our team and, and we get, we get analytic stuff about how good we are with certain guys in the game and that sort of thing. Um, and, and very often when the game's over and you look at the stat sheet, then the, the, the star of the game is somebody else because they got a few more points mm -hmm. and, and a few more rebounds. Uh, but there's no question that his uh, motor, desire, competitiveness, um, no back down from anybody uh, is driving our team to be uh, a team that expects to win and wants to win. And that's unusual for a freshman to have that kind of impact on a team. Coach, can I ask you about a couple of individual players on West Kentucky tonight? Sure. I'll just give you their sure. name and jersey number. Anderson, number four, who's a sophomore, who obviously you saw last. No, you didn't see him last year. He was not eligible yet. Okay. And then Bassey, right, number right. 20. Yeah, yeah, apparently. And Bassey, number 22. You know, yeah. Anderson, Anderson hurt us the worst because we we were trying to help off of him. He's not a three-point shooter. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you, and, and with with Savage and with uh, Hollingsworth in the game and Bassey inside, you've got to find somebody to help off of. Uh, because we, we can't guard Bassey one-on-one -on -one inside. But... He's such a great cutter, Anderson is, and Bassey's a good passer, uh, that that he hurt us first with that. And then late in the game, just like everybody else does when they're behind, they just kind of threw their hands up and said, we're going to drive it. And, and and we didn't have anybody to stay in front of him, and he finished really good. I, he, was a, he was a big surprise to us. Uh, Bassey, uh, there, there's so many things about him to like. Um, he has great control of his body. He gets... He gets great angles in the post. That is such an art 
for guys to understand that if they can catch the ball with not squared to the basket where their rear end's facing the rim, but but turn so that all they got to do is lay it in, and that's what he does so well. He's got great touch inside. He, when he misses, he gets it and puts it back in every time almost. So if he gets it, you can, you don't care whether they miss it or not because they're going to score. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I, they're very young in a lot of ways too, and a lot of a lot of different parts. But I can't imagine that they don't come together and be a, a, a real team to be reckoned with in conference play. Uh, they've already got two real quality wins. That shows you what they can do. I think they're just they're struggling, you know, occasionally to for whatever reason. The the uh, they just haven't played together a whole lot yet, and they're going to be they're going to be. Really good, and again, I thought Rick and his staff did a great job tonight of of uh, making it difficult for us to stay on any kind of an even keel with this changing of defenses. What can you say about the back-to-back uh, -back games of a uh, clutch play from uh, Kevin McLean tonight? Yeah, lots, lots of good things to say about Kevin McLean. The last two games, I mean, obviously, uh, it was it was a big game for. Uh, for Grayson today, but, but Kevin's uh, Kevin's last two games, he's played um, and made really good decisions. He was not shooting the ball well before these two games, and he was trying to make things happen, and that was making it worse. And uh, he he had we had a good week of practice before UCLA, uh, and he's made good decisions and finished. And uh, I think he made his free throws tonight. He's been struggling with that. Three for three. Uh, I think he's below 50%, wasn't he, Greg, for right the year? Out, yeah. Uh, and uh, he's much better than that. So he's playing with confidence. And, and, you know, it's just you don't notice in stats how good somebody is defensively. And he has been uh, against against Lipscomb, UCLA, and now in this game, he's been really good against whoever he's been guarding. Uh, what can you say about the play of uh, – Dylan uh, Wendler, he definitely was a uh, you know great all, all around tonight, and uh, you know even when he wasn't you know shooting the basketball, he still was having an effect on the game. Yeah, I, I, you know uh, I had no idea that the guy got 20 points and 11 rebounds, uh, uh, and, and he's he's not knocking his threes down like he can. He he tried to force a couple of drives and got charges, uh, uh, but. Man, that guy does a lot of good things on both ends of the floor every every game, uh, and and he's such a good rebounder for a wing player. I think he had 15 against UCLA, and he's got 11 tonight, 10 defensive rebounds. Uh, that, that's huge against a team as big and strong and athletic as Western Kentucky is, or, or Purdue is, which we play next. Uh, what can you say about the uh, defense you uh, put on Bassey in the first half? It seemed like he was kind of yeah. Got a little out of it in the first half. The second half, he kind of came around. Yeah, you could tell that they they definitely came out of halftime with the idea they were going to throw the ball inside to him, uh, which was a, which was a good smart thing to do, I think. Although we kept our lead and had it pretty big and should should have you know you feel like when you got a 14 point lead or something like that that it shouldn't get where it got, uh, but. Um, but we've done a nice job on some good post players this year, even though I wouldn't say that our primary post defenders are particularly great, but I think we've done a good job of finding them help, uh, gumming the works up a little bit when they want to put the ball on the floor. We had a lot of nice deflections and steals off out of that tonight, and we did that at UCLA. First two games that we've really done a good job of digging in there and making it tough for a post player to feel comfortable. But later in the second half, they, or in the second half, they did, a, they did a better job of spreading it where we couldn't get to him, and so Bassey scored it, or dished it off a couple of times to guys for layups. Coach, you got two really timely finishes from Seth Adelsberger yep. at the end of the game. Can you talk about that a little bit? You know, Seth, Seth's contribution this year has been probably worth more than the playing time that I've given him. Um, he. Uh, he, he's a very good post defender. He's a he's a great ball screener and roller, uh, but he has had trouble at times making little bunnies, you know. And uh, he just caught those dumps when we drove it. Uh, Tate Pearson did the same thing in the first half. We we I can think of at least five drives and dumps that we got a wide open layup on. And he uh, he's not got the best hands in the world, uh, 
but he, he he sure finished those quick, and we need, we needed those because the scores weren't coming easy. Anybody else? Thank you all very Thank much. You. Thank Thanks, you, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm.